A robot's in a musical. This isn't something new coming to Broadway, but Brownell Talbot. And it's the students who've created these high-tech elements. We were so curious about it all, we had to get a look in person. And yeah, they've got a lesson on Mary and Troy's uh, kitchen habits. Hi, guys. Here they are from theater okay, arts nice teacher Aileen Ziegler and Shaw Gardner, who's a junior over here, yep. and uh, senior Cheyenne Hansen. Good morning. Hi. Good to see nice you to all. Nice to have you here, Aileen. Welcome. Uh, so what's, what's the deal with this? This is a, it's a, it's a familiar production, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Adam's Family, the musical, was on Broadway, and and uh, now it's available for licensing, and it's the story of the Adams Family that started as a, a comic in 1940 mm -hmm. by Charles Adams, the New Yorker. And then and the then TV show. Then became a TV mm -hmm. show, and then became the movie, and then the Broadway show. Mm -hmm. And so we're performing that, and in the, in the musical, Wednesday has met a boy. Mm -hmm. And the boy has from Ohio, <laughs> <laughs> and so it's, different worlds. It yeah. is. So it's a little. It's a but, show about two worlds colliding. Yeah, but the thing still makes an appearance. Yes. Thing. Thing. The thing. The thing. The thing. thing. Yeah. The, inter the he goes internet. On the, the internet. Facebook. Yes. The, Twitter, <laughs> the thing. Um, right I don't there. know if you can see it right now because we've got a graphic up and the way the shot is, but look right down there. below. Thing we'll get is it. here. So There's thing. student, Cheyenne, maybe you can tell us a bit about this and its role in the production. Um, it drives around and scares people. Um, <laughs> it is driven by the Sphero, which is a Bluetooth connected ball that connects to an iPad or phone. It's just a simple program you can download. Um, we 3D printed a hand and sized it to fit around the Sphero. Wow. What? You did this all Brownell? Yep. Um, you you well, printed the hand. We yep. printed the hand. Well, they uh -huh. built it. I mean, well, yeah, they printed 3D printing. It, Mike. Yeah, they built yes. it. But how cool, it. though. All, every yes. aspect of this is about technology. Instead of using a form and plaster and these old school methods in yeah. theater, it's all about technology. Can I, well, I, can I drive it to see how this, how this works? How, oh do you, how do you develop it? I mean, Here we go. Well, explain how this. So it's a little bit like a, a remote control car inside, but it's all inside. It's got a gyroscope. And the iPad kind of works like a joystick, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. In our, our programming classes on campus, the students actually Michael. write <laughs> they actually write programming for it, and then they get this real world application to test to see if their programming works uh -huh. by, by putting the Sphero through. Why are you high? Our viewers would like to see <laughs> this. Something tells me this isn't all coincidental right now. Yeah, uh, right, that's pretty cool, though. Yeah. And, and you, you, you use other high tech features in, in the production? Mm-hmm. We do. We do. I want to hear from you, because you're kind of the technical guy, right? A lot yeah. of what happens during the production. Mm -hmm. So I drive that during the show, but we also have a ton of new moving lights that we got put in. Uh-huh. Um, they're like massive 70-pound lights that have built in all these different colors. Um, Oh. Well, hold, hold on. We're looking at video, all so all of this is yeah. state of the art as well. Yes. Right. And you can see Cheyenne actually running the programming right. Her head is peaking yeah. up in the middle of this video. I, uh, okay. I'll while he does the hand. Um, it's a new system. It's a the new 2016 D Pro. Wow. It's a concert okay. grade moving. There, we actually have Martin Mac. 700 profile movies. Look at you guys. Yeah. So um, this is wow. this is real it's live pretty, professional grade it's, stuff. It's the same it stuff is. you'll Look, see on the professional yes. stages and on the national tours across the country. So how much have you learned throughout all this in researching oh. this and building these? Oh, so much. Yeah. Uh -huh. So much. It's pretty, it's we, pretty I had incredible. to learn this uh, system in about two days. I went from a 1996 version of lighting to 2016 in about two days. So how does this affect you professionally when you're exposed to this kind of technology and these experiences? Um, it makes me feel like I can do it, mm -hmm. and then I can go out in the world and do it. Do like you want to be an engineer, or do you want, want to work in theater I would like to work film? in a production company mm -hmm. doing either, like, designing for shows, concerts, or then be a builder. Mm -hmm. I'll be one of those two. Is this typical um, for these type of students, <laughs> I mean, to, to, to go out on, uh, to build this type of production? You know, I find that high school students are capable of many things. They get a little nervous about it, but then once you show them that they're capable of it, mm -hmm. and then they jump and excel and find passion in it, mm -hmm. because it's what they're doing. They create it, they they put it on stage, and then uh -huh. they get to watch it. Uh -huh. And it's it's real and it's, it's theirs. I, I chuckled when Mike said, is this typical? Because I immediately thought, is their experience typical for high school theater class? And that's not the case at all. It's exceptional in a lot of ways. Correct, yes. Mm -hmm. So our students are really given the opportunity to integrate what they're learning in their different classes and take it onto the stage. We have a music technology class mm -hmm. where students are learning about soundboards and, and 
engineering of, of sound, and then we have students running digital soundboards that can actually even be run from iPads, which is crazy. When Mike's using an iPad right now yeah. to navigate thing around so, yeah. our studio floor. Well, let's talk about tickets, because everything starts yeah. tomorrow night. Yes. Right? Three, three nights worth yes. of a run for the Adams family. How Correct. do we get tickets? They're Amy. available online. You can visit btadams.bpt.me, and mm -hmm. Adams has two Ds in it. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. And you can also, if that doesn't work, you can also just go to our Brownell EDU website and visit the theater page. Get them there. Yes. Um, Sean, thank you for coming. Yeah. Cheyenne, great to meet you. Yeah, and Aileen, thanks for coming. thank you. All the best. Congratulations yeah. for three days. Yeah. I don't know what was more fun, fun, driving the thing or trying to get Jake to keep up with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> the thing. Thanks for coming in today. Thank Still you. ahead.